like a nice day out. So we're heading over for a little leg training today. Melissa's in the city with her sister. I'm gonna have a nice relaxing day, just a boy's day. Anyway, introduce you to my crack dog, Loki. Call him the crack dog because he's a little high strung sometimes, but he's a good dog. He's a uh, soft coated wheat and terrier. Hey everybody, how you doing today? So there seemed to be a lot of interest in our YouTube videos, specifically around, around diet and nutrition. So I wanted to give you a little more information on that since uh, that seemed to be what the majority of the videos seem to get hits on uh, as far as what people like to view. So my typical lunch is uh, about a cup, cup and a half of brown rice cooked. And I, I cook it in beef broth to give it a little flavor. Uh, five to six ounces, this is six ounces of either chicken or beef. Combined them today, I got a little of each. Uh, a good serving of some kind of green vegetable. Uh, string beans are a favorite of mine, broccoli is a favorite of mine. This is about five ounces. I typically can weigh, you know, I'll weigh everything on a scale. I pretty much know what my portions are, but if you're not familiar with your portions, uh, this scale is really good, this type of scale is really good. Uh, it zeroes everything out and if let's say you're doing six ounces of beef or eight ounces of beef or whatever you're doing every day Same thing with your carbs your proteins um, If you're eating a certain amount every day and you want to gain or lose weight, it's real easy to um, uh, Change that just by increasing or decreasing the amount based on what the scale is So if I want to make my weight go down a little bit or tighten things up I'll just measure out Five, if I'm normally having six ounces of lean beef, I'll measure out five ounces, or I'll measure out four ounces. I'll only change it very small, small amounts of changes every week or so to move in whatever direction I want to go. So real helpful tip, if you don't have a scale, get a scale. It makes it real easy to manage your foods uh, and know what you're consuming on a daily basis. I don't count my calories so much as just, uh, I kind of know what my foods are and I kind of do it this way with weighing the stuff. Uh, another thing is I add about a, a tablespoon of Crazy Richard's natural peanut butter. Add a little fat to the diet. You don't want to eliminate all the fats out of your diet. So I mix it all together, kind of stir fry. It's almost like a peanut butter chicken. If you guys, you know, eat the Chinese food, it's kind of like that. It adds a nice little flavor to it. And then something to drink. I usually have the um, Turkey Hill Diet Green Tea. No calories, uh, no sugar, uh, no carbs. And like I said, it adds a nice little flavor. It's a little sweet. But if you're tired of drinking just straight water, uh, Crystal Light's a good, a good option as well. Several flavors out there, but I like the green tea. So I mix, it, mix that all up in a pan. Like I said, kind of a stir fry. Makes a great lunch. And this meal I'm having about 45 minutes to an hour after my post-workout drink, after I got done working out. So for the guys, you know, when you do your heavy, heavy training, have your post-workout drink, and then have a whole food meal. So whole food, can't beat whole food meals. So you, you, you know, don't just drink the shakes. Make sure you're getting some, a substantial amount of quality uh, food in your system as well. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, if you have any comments or in, have any other questions, put them in the comments below. Hope you found it useful and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks. Okay, so I cooked everything up and uh, took all of five minutes for me to do that. And when it's all said and done, this is lunch. So it's got my, like I said, the string beans, it's got the rice, it's got the chicken, the beef, a little bit of peanut butter in there, it's all mixed up. And uh, that's it. All right, any questions? Let me know.